Hi there! So I'm going to do a license plate uh, unboxing from the latest license plate that I got. But I did record one earlier this month, or at least I thought I recorded one, and turns out it wasn't recording. So the unboxing is simply me revealing the license plate, which is... This is a Kansas license plate from manufactured... You see that? This was manufactured in 1951, and I've always had my, I had, not always, more recently, I, uh, when I got into the whole collecting of license plates, uh, this caught my eye because of the uniqueness behind it. So, in, they manufactured this in 1951, and then they, the Korean War was going on, so they were rationing metal, like, for the war effort so they basically came out with these little tabs and they would put them affix them up here and they would use that to denote the new year so this 1951 plate then became the 1952 plate and then became the 1953 plate and then the war ended and then they eventually came out with the 1954 um, the WS is for Washington and I think it's Washington County and if I remember looking at the map, I think it's somewhere right around there as far as... I think it's like 70 miles north of I-70, which cuts across the state. Um, so yeah, I'm very ha happy that I have this to my collection now. Uh, I haven't fig figured out how, where to put these these little things. I mean, it does cover up Kansas, but, you know, I guess it's just something unique, I guess, to, you know, be a conversation starter. Now... This one, I didn't film opening yet, so let's do that. Let's see here. You gotta be careful. Don't cut your hands. Oof. I remember seeing this license plate in on a couple classic cars, and more recently in the Martin Scorsese film, The Irishman, and I thought, yeah, that's a pretty cool, cool looking plate, you know, because it's better than the standard issue plate they have now. But this state is getting a new plate for their 250th anniversary of America. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Anyways, but that state used to have a pretty cool one, and that state is the state of Pennsylvania. This is the 1976 Bicentennial Pennsylvania license plate. It's got the Liberty Bell, and I've got the registration stickers of 75 and 76. So I think this plate was made in 19... I think I see another one underneath, so it could have been... Maybe in like 1974 it was made, and then, you know, they got the registration stick for 75 and then 76. But, uh, I'm really, ha I really like this color, especially how it just pops out. It's just like, you know, and plus I, I went, the high school I went to had colors of, uh, blue and, uh, yellow, or blue and gold. But, uh, yeah, that's the license plate. So these are the ones that I got for August. I'm really happy that I got them now, and I can add them to my collection. But that's it, and I don't think I'm going to do another license plate video for a while, because I'm going to be moving. So, we'll wait and see. Bye-bye.